welcome to the Nourish Me podcast. I'm Joanne Pavin, your host, and if you found yourself here, you're ready to take actionable steps to optimize your health and live a more balanced, productive, and creative life. In our tech-driven world, we need a reminder to slow down, stop the scroll, and take digital breaks. I'm here to inspire you to step away from your screen, to nourish yourself through nature and connection to others, to follow a new algorithm, the rhythm of real life. So let's get started. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Joanne. I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited to have you. I'm welcoming Cindy Cohn to the Nourish Me podcast, and she will be nourishing us with tons and tons of joy and how she came to be so joyful. I can't wait to dive into our conversation. But first, I want to tell, I should, I want to share, don't you think we should share how we met and how how special that was. It really, really is. Yeah. Go ahead. And <laughs> okay. So, uh, about a year and a half ago, I don't know, maybe just a year ago, I feel like, you know, Godspeed, right? So over, um, the last year we've been in a relationship. We have never met in, uh, in person. <laughs> it's hard to believe because it feels like I know you so well. I know, but that's the power <laughs> of the online platforms. Right. Uh, the, 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 uh, golden, uh, thread that runs through the internet, right? So we met on a a Zoom call and Cindy and I were both um, summoned to do a online retreat for a company. And we met there and afterwards uh, we were connected through LinkedIn, (laughs) right? I asked you to connect on LinkedIn. And I was like, I have to know more of this I have to know more of this Cindy. She brought such <laughs> sunshine. You did. You brought such sunshine and energy to the uh, yeah. meeting that morning. So I was so excited. Anyway, after that, the rest is history. We've been fast friends and we we that. share the same attitude in life and faith. You have given me a lot of wisdom and joy. Uh, okay. So, so you share your end of the story because I, I love your input as well. Well, I just think like we met and just, we had this instant connection and I remember getting on that call and we were like writing down in like pink marker, like all of our words that were similar to each other. Do you remember that? Yeah, exactly. And I, I searched frivolously this morning to find that paper. I'm going to dub it in if I find it. Okay. (laughs) I'm going to dub it in. We never... like it had any trajectory of where the friendship or the business relationship or anything was going to go. It was just like, it just fell naturally into place that we just like, were connecting with each other, like weekly on the phone. Yeah, right? and- exactly. For encouragement and um, basically just friendship coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right? Support each other up and support and give our, each other ideas. And it's just been a mutually beneficial relationship. Although I think I get way more joy from you. <laughs> oh, stop. You are too, no, you, you're too much. You're giving so much uh, joy to all of the people. And that would, that's, that's a good uh, segue into the community that you've created. But first the community came after you wrote your wonderful book, which I have right here. The more yes, joy, one of my biggest fans, Thank 52 you so weeks much. of moving forward. Yes. Joyfully. That is the key word moving forward. <laughs> right. Joyfully. Yeah. Always so, taking action. You have to keep moving forward. Even baby steps are important. Exactly. So bring the listeners to how you came to write this because I want to say you had mentioned I'm writing a book. And that was last April. I thought, oh, that's wonderful. So am I. Well, I <laughs> yeah. I like, and then I thought to myself, oh, this is a wonderful idea, more joy. And then you expounded <laughs> and you said, I said, well, when it's coming out? Oh, September. I, I, I mean, it blew my mind that you were coming out with this. I know it's been in the making for a while. I have been writing. I was writing it in January mm-hmm. or December. But even so, January till September. Yeah. I mean, the, okay, people just need to tap you for that accomplishment. 
<laughs> so I want to make that side note is that Cindy came with her concept probably prior to January. I know that we talked oh, about yeah, that. Oh yeah, for sure. Exactly. But from January to September, there you birth the yeah. more joy. <laughs> and my and life then- honestly has not been the same since really. It was a catalyst for everything on, I wouldn't even be on your show probably. Cause I probably wouldn't have anything to say. <laughs> Well, no, that's not true. Now that's not true. No, it's not true. But, but so, so bring us to that. Life. Bring us to that journey. Like you, you, you started this prior to January, obviously of last year. Yeah. So what? Bring, what led, bring us to that. Me, I'll just tell you what let what happened with the book, how that all came to be. Um, so I was, you know, was born a pretty go happy go lucky child of um, the baby of three. And my sister, who's the middle child, has always told me that you were just different. You were born just happy. And um, she recognized that, she said, because she wasn't. So it was something like she always felt like envious of me because I always was cheerful. And so I was just had a good disposition. Um, And then, but a few years ago, I got into a deep, dark depression Um, where I was not my cheerful disposition at all. And even though I have a master's degree in counseling and I've counseled thousands of people and families, um, I wasn't able to, at the moment, get myself out of the funk. So I was in bed and I was crying and I was um, literally like, if I did get out of bed or if you did talk to me on the phone, which would have been rare, but I would have had tears in my throat, in my eyes. I was really honestly non-functionable for a very long time. It felt like a long time. It was several months. Um, And one night um, I was woken up by God in the middle of the night. And he always talks to me if he's going to talk to me um, between like three and 5 a.m. And he woke me up and it was just honestly like a slap. Like I felt it. And he was like, you were not designed for this. (laughs) excuse me. He said, I did not design you for this. Get up and find joy. You are, you are here for joy. And I didn't really take much of that at the time. It was in the middle of the night and I heard it and I felt it, but I was like, I don't know what to do with it really. So I just sat on it for a little bit. And then the next day I it was still on my heart. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to find joy and what joy is. And like just very little baby steps. Like I said, like one day I took a toe out of bed and the next day a foot and the next day a leg. And then I had two feet on the ground. Literally it was a process. It was slow. Um, but I kept pushing forward and taking little baby actionable steps towards looking for joy. And I did a lot of research. I listened to podcasts. I would pray. I would watch devotionals or listen, you know, read devotionals. Um, I surrounded myself with other like-minded people in my community. At that point, it was not the community I created. Just, I had a set of friends who were spiritual and um, were already circled around me. So I just counted and tried to listen in on that noise instead of the noise of the world. Um, And I was, and I also was journaling. And so I was getting all my feelings out. Um, And then little by little, like day by day, I started feeling better and I started having more joy. And the more joy I had, the more joy I had. And it kept going like exponentially. And I was giving out more joy. Like everywhere I was going, I was giving out more joy. And when I was giving out more joy, more joy was coming back. And I was like, wait a second, I think I'm onto something here because. I just got myself out of bed and I started seeking joy and doing different behaviors. And I was like, if this helped me, then it's going to help other people. And that's how the book was birthed because the journaling, as you know, cause you've read my book is yes. a book. So mm-hmm. you have, um, you know, Love it. you have like a quote on one side of the book and then it have a, um, prompt a prompt it's called ponder me and mm-hmm. it says you know name five things that bring you joy today try this every day this week so it gives you exercises to try um and it's just 
that's how more joy came to be. And it's funny. I just found this in this book. Now, this is funny. <coughs> um, I find joy in the little things. And yeah. sometimes I keep them. And I just yeah. found my book. Um, ooh, ooh, it's a I love heart. That. You see that heart? Yeah. It is a heart or, or I was thinking angels wings. Oh, that's true. I, I, you know how you have those, um, the psychological painting pictures. I forget yeah. what they're called. For <laughs> the, yes. Yes. And so like, I see the angel wings there. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I was walking to the mailbox and I found this leaf and I, again, I don't, when you, the more you look for joy, the more you find it. So this was like, oh my God, I found a leaf with a heart in it. Like this brought me so much joy that I've kept it for, you know, probably a year now, honestly. And, and, and I love it because then whenever you see it, you it just smile brought me joy. and it brings you to that moment. Now, this is, this is what I, I opened up to today. I just oh, opened this and I think it fits, I fits exactly what you are talking about. It's, this is the inspirational passage. Uh, and it says, it's not the circumstances that create joy. Correct. It's you. And Correct. so I want to, I want to add to what you just shared. You, you had said that you just started step-by-step step, little by little. And I want to go back to like, I'm a big science person, right? So like attracts like, okay. And, um, for every action, there's an equal an opposite reaction. Right. So, you know, when you exhibit the joy, well, you were just like, we'll use that famous quote you gave me last year, magnet for miracle. Oh, I think I wrote yeah. that in my post today. Actually. Yeah, you, you did. Because remember you had told yeah. me it was almost a year ago that I was putting on summer solstice and you had been praying for me. And I put on an event every year around the summer solstice. And you said, tonight, you're going to be a magnet for miracles. And I remember, um, oh, and we lit your candles. Yes, yes I remember that. Yep, yeah, the candles, the light. And so we'll have to touch on the light oh, and yeah. just lighting candles. Um, but that was just a wonderful quote that you gave me. And I shared it really with true. women. When we embody that, we attract it like your science. Yeah, ex ex exactly. <laughs> and science, spirituality, whatever came first. Um, but this is the thing. It's one of those, it's the energy that we put in ourselves and put out into the world um, that oh, I'm huge about and energy. we've heard it right a million times where we put the antenna on our head and what antenna are we going to have on our head this right. morning? Is it going to be the antenna of, and what's the intention? It goes so, so deep, right? So, so, deep. Oh, so let's continue on from your more joy book. So we, you launched the book and then from the book, people got excited. There was this community building and you launched the more joy community. Tell us about that. Yeah. So that's real. The reason actually that was launched was because there was so much in the news at the time. It was like February um, that everywhere I looked, I was seeing a train wreck, an explosion, 3 million people lost their jobs. Like it was so heavy on my heart, all everything. And it was on LinkedIn. It was like on the right side. So it's like, you couldn't even check your LinkedIn without seeing the negative news it was everywhere. So I was like, I just need a spot to go to find joy online. And so that's how I created the community. It was really originally just because I wanted to embody joy and have joyful things to look at. And then I dragged everyone along with me and I realized, well, obviously other people are feeling the same. If I'm feeling it, other people are feeling it. Um, and we have a, the most beautiful community. You know, you've been there. Um, I couldn't be happier with the people that are drawn to it again, like attracts like right? Um, so the people all embody a spirit of love, of support, of happy vibration. And it's just a beautiful community. And I'm just so blessed, honestly. And I want to thank you for inviting me. I thought it was a wonderful uh, group of women and men. And I've been on there um, twice now and plan to be on there in the future yeah. and part of the community. Can you tell the listeners the type of people that you have, you have, or the format that you use. 
Sure. So we meet on Monday nights at eight o'clock. That is an educational, usually bring in a speaker and then from the speaker into discussion. Um, and it's a very positive way to kick off your weekend. And we have all different types of speakers from business type speakers to meditation and mindfulness, yoga, laughing yoga. Um, uh, oh, that, I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, we've had them all just nutritionists, um, just different positive people that can breathe more life into you for the week. Um, and then on Thursdays at 1030 in the morning Eastern, we have a support group. And that's only been about a month now. And that came as we're evolving. And I see that people are struggling in the world. Um, they need a place to have other people just surround them and they can just vent and talk and um and that's not monday nights monday nights is more of a positive party as i call it mm -hmm. thursdays are anyway we ended up yesterday was um a um a thursday and yeah. i've never laughed so hard like it <laughs> always is what it's supposed to be it's whoever shows up is supposed to be there and the energy and what happens is different every week. And yesterday, literally everybody left with their sides hurting. And we were like, this is exactly what we needed. Um, so exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no. And, and I want, you're reminding me of something that my eight-year-old daughter told me last night. She said, uh, mom, do you re do you know how many times kids laugh a day? And I said, no. And she said, well, do you know how many times adults laugh every day? And I said, well, probably not as much as kids. Right. right. And she watches this show called brain child uh -huh. and it's all about the brain and they give science facts and it's for a show for kids, but also it's good for adults. Yeah. But I, she told me on brain child, I learned that kids laugh, um, you know, hundreds of times a day. Right. I love but that. adults only laugh like 18 times a day. If that, yeah. If that. if that, right. So, and, and no, I, I'm not quoting the exact facts from the show, but this is what she gathered from the show. And I thought, oh, you know, like basically she's telling me like, mom, you got to have more fun. Than we, have to laugh. <laughs> we, we do laugh a lot, but probably not enough, you know? So the fact that you're bringing these people together and yes. you're spreading laughter okay. is, See, is like, so I did, I did not have this yesterday, but this is... Like, I oh. just, like <laughs> isn't that, didn't, didn't I see that on Probably. the original call? I think I saw that on the original call with you. How oh, nice. Yeah. I just have yeah. props all the time. <laughs> I mean, yeah. that, okay, there we go. Let's talk about joy. So yeah. when you do silly things and connect back to your inner child, yeah. that's what brings more joy. Stop taking yourself so serious, people. <laughs> Exactly. And I think that that should be broadcast out to, I mean, LinkedIn's a professional platform. Um, there are other platforms that are obviously more fun. Uh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but can you get me the name of those? <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, is that you're bringing this to at least that one platform you're bringing and you're bringing it to the, to the world. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying like, you're bringing, like, there, there are so many people that look forward to Cindy Cohn's post every day. Yes. It's funny, it, isn't it, that? It, and the fact that you were named one of their top voices for community engagement, right? A while or, ago. Yeah. Yeah. But so, but, but with that is you're bringing that just to that one single platform, just that one single platform you're bringing in and on the others that you're building on and then your own community, you're doing so much for those people. Cause I know that the engagement level is just so high. Whenever you're posting, there's like hundreds of people immediately jumping on. Like we're so happy and <laughs> we're excited and we're seeing kind know, of interesting, isn't it? People you know, are but when you're not there, they notice. You know, yeah. or at least I mean, People I'm not on there as much. More joy, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> it's so, not like it's a real thing. People it, need it. it. It is a real thing. So, okay. So, what can you tell me? Th is there any future developments, or what is your goal for more joy, or where are you going with it? I think you said you're writing another book. Yes, I do. Is, is that hush uh, hush? Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, it's, it's slow going this time. Um, in fact, that book has been in fruition for seven or eight years in my side drawer. I have like 10 chapters written and outlined and whatever, but you know, 
Um, you and I have talked about this. When it's time, it'll come, right? Exactly. And you don't have to put a date on something. You don't have to rush something. It'll come right at the exact time it's supposed to hit, right? And so that's kind of how I'm doing it. Like, I don't, I'm not stressing about it when it's supposed to be here. It will develop and come. That That's good. That's good advice. And there's so much work to be done around more joy too. There's okay. so much. There really like, is. You're I just really laying the love the community and I'm expanding on that. We're, so I want to make the community more holistic. So I want to address the mental, physical, you know, the whole occupational, everything that goes into us that creates energy and more joy. Um, so I'm going to start bringing in like exercise um, virtually to the community, um, maybe even some cooking demonstrations for getting like healthy cooking, all the things that fuel us, um, to have more joy. It's, it's, it's not one thing. It's many things. Well, right. Because we are multidimensional, which yes. sometimes we forget that we are. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you're bringing all that in is so good. That's we're on the same page with all of that. Um, yeah. but can you give, let's get a little deep here okay. with, we know the surface ways to cultivate joy. And maybe you can give people just actionable ways they can sure. cultivate joy. But I want you to go after those ways into the deeper side of how to get yourself into a more joyful state. Because we can say like, oh, you know, fake it till you make it. Put a smile on your face. <laughs> I so don't believe in that, by the I, way. I know. It is Me a band-aid. It, well, no, but actually I think that there is some, there is science to to the fact that you can smile, smile and just the and fact of smiling changes your brain chemistry. Yes. It does. So I'm, I am, um, you know, with the camp that says that you can, if you fake it a little bit and you, you can get you on your way, yeah, it can. but yeah, but give us some, some ways that you were able to take those baby steps or the, the most powerful ways that people can cultivate more joy. Okay. So first let me give you more of the top level things that you can just do today. And then I'm going to go into the deeper level. So top level things. The first thing I did to get out of my funk was actually get off all social media. Um, I did that because comparison is the thief of joy. And I was comparing my pity party life to all the beautiful pictures and the vacations and the perfect husbands out there um, and looking at my life, like what's wrong with me? Why don't I have that? And it was getting me more depressed. So first thing I did is got off all social media. So if you can't do that, at least detox like one day a week, you'll see a huge <laughs> difference in your attitude and your life when you don't um, spend as much time on it. And also, I want to bring up that I wrote my entire book by being off of it, which goes to show the amount of time you actually have if mm. you're not on social media. So there's a tip for you potential writers out there. There is time. It's a matter of how you use it. Um, second, Excellent. Yep. Excellent. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, well, you're just, you're scrolling, right? And you're looking at other people's lives. Most of them fake, most of them highlight reel. And what are you really gaining for yourself? Whereas mm -hmm. when you're not on, you're doing something good for yourself, like writing a book or mm -hmm. volunteering or whatever you're doing, you're giving out, which brings to the next point, giving, Giving, mm -hmm. giving, giving, serving, serving, serving. The more you give, the more will come back to you and the more joy you will have. Um, I promise you I'm a living, walking being of that. Um, so it is a fact. Just keep giving and the world will give you back more joy. Um, so that's another tip. I love um, that. Goes along with my pay it forward um, mm -hmm. phenomenon. Um, I've been the doing piff, piff. Piff. your piff Fridays. Is it piff that, Fridays? Yeah, I do piff Fridays to remind people because I love it. Surprised, though, how many people don't think to actually pay it forward. Like it doesn't even enter their brain. Um, mm. yeah, <laughs> I know that <laughs> I do. And with, with people who are very close to me, I'm like, okay, it's, is it going to really break you to like, you know, be kind yeah. or, yeah, like, you know, 
<laughs> give the ma- give the mailman a tip at the end of the year, you know. <laughs> I mean, the joy that you can give someone is just, and they don't even have to cost money. Smiling right. gives joy. Ask, checking on someone, how are you today? And listen, listen for their feedback. Don't just be thinking about what you're going to say or your grocery list from Target. Like, actually, pay attention and listen. Right. Um, um, Take in someone's garbage can. That's free, right? Yeah. Let someone in line in front of you at the grocery store. Let three people in line. I challenge you. You can wait the extra 10 minutes. It will not kill you. I promise. Um, so I love that. Little things that I do that bring more joy to people and, and to show people that there are good people in the world and hopefully cause a ripple effect that they'll eventually do it because they're mm-hmm. so surprised. They're always like, really? I'm like, yes, Mm -hmm. please. Um, Well, it's good karma. And, you know, even if you don't believe in karma, it's, you know, the whole cliche, what comes around goes around, you know? Yes. Yes. So, um, those are my hot, quick tips that you can do today. Um, now my tips. Yeah. Deep. Let's go deep. Let's go deep, deep, deep. I was going to, I was going to quote the song, the the heavy metal song, you know, (laughs) comes around, goes around, but that would age. Oh, that is a good song. (laughs) Round and round. (laughs) Comes around, goes around. around. Yeah, I know. We're definitely aging ourselves, but that's okay. (laughs) Okay. Wait, they haven't made good music since the eighties though. I, I, I do agree. I do agree. And I do know that the, the thing that drew me into our call that we shared last year was, um, you had brought in pump up the jam, right? Pump up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And some other, some other great oldies, yes, but anyway, it. that's what brings more joy to people. Well, do you remember the old song, joy and pain? I forget. Yeah. Oh yeah. Joy, joy and pain. pain. <laughs> Sunshine. Sunshine. And, rain. and rain. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now we're gonna Joanne, get, this is we've got to get These together. Are, we've we got to get together get, and dance and sing in real oh, life. That, that also brings more joy. Look at the joy that we're getting right now, right? Yeah. Just and and people want to hear that. They don't want to. They do. They want to hear that. Uh, the the memories, the reminiscing. They want to hear the the throwbacks. They do. They just want to, so you know, remember when, you know, people should sit down and think about that daily. Like, ah, oh, remember then, because they remember those joyful moments and it brings that joy back into the present. So, okay. Which now I up, which brings up to get more joy, to slow down, to speed up. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. We need to slow down. We never probably think about those moments you're talking about because we're so busy doing other things and being involved that we don't slow down enough, but when you do, there's so much joy there. I agree. Let's go deep now. Let's, Let's get back deep. to that. Let's go right, deep. Let's deep. go to that. Okay. I so want to hear. Is the truth. This is the, this is the gut level joy right here. There's tons of things you could do on the surface that are going to, it's going to bring you more joy. It's going to change your endorphins in your head, things like that. Um, going on walk nature. That's beautiful. Um, however, if you really want to have deep inner joy and contentment and peace. There are two things that you need to do. And they're hard for some people. Even for me, they were hard. Um, But what happened was what led to my change in circumstances was I heard a speaker. I was at a speaker that I wasn't even supposed to be there. Um, You know how God is. He gets you to where you're supposed to go without you knowing. And even though I had heard these two concepts before, the way in which they were presented were different and my heart was in a different place. And um, But the two concepts that will absolutely change your life and get ready because they're not easy for everyone. So the first one is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness of yourself Mm -hmm. and forgive other people. Mm -hmm. Now, believe me, people hurt you. I've grown up with a traumatic childhood. Most people have. People have hurt us. Um, Your spouse can hurt you. You could be hurt by a family member. You could be hurt by a coworker. People hurt you. Um, Mm -hmm. But but there is joy in forgiveness. Um, And that is the um, peace from within that you can only get from God and forgiveness. and you're really only hurting yourself to hold on to the 
hurt and the anger. Mm -hmm. um, it, it can cause disease. It's, it makes you unproductive. Um, it, it's really not good for you mentally or physically. Um, and then also, I mean, Jesus died for us and he forgave us. I mean, are we not, are we better than that? Like we have to do, right? I mean, if he did that for us, certainly we can forgive whatever needs to be forgiven. It's a choice. It's a choice that you have to make. It um, is. It is. And it's a daily, I think a daily choice because there are so many of those, yeah. uh, the automatic negative thoughts, the ants yes. in our brain. Yes. The, and those automatic negative thoughts come up and we have to remember yes. to, you know, continually remind ourselves of the for forgiveness and, and letting go of the resentment uh, yes. to, towards ourselves or towards anybody else. Exactly. And, and, right. and I, 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 that, I know you're going to your next tip on this Good. deeper level, but I want to add to the fact that um, you had said, uh, you know, don't hold on to anything and forgive yourself. and it's like a car wash. I was told it's like a car wash for your soul. Mm. Now, when you forgive, you're just washing. <laughs> it's got, a, it's, it's nothing special, but I just remembered like it, it is, it's like, oh, you're kind here. of washing through what, what, what's that? I actually have some soap washing. Oh, <laughs> you have soap on you. That's made, awesome. Oh. She's got soap. She's got everything in that little workshop. Right? Of hers. That's her little in your joy lab. That's a good it's one. Right? Joy lab. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should have a special, you know, container hey, yeah, right. yes. at joy lab. I love that, that. There you go. That's your next retreat. <laughs> the joy lab. Uh, all right. So the, that whole thing about washing away, you know, we're lightening our, we're lightening our energy. We're not with that heaviness on us. Yes. The forgiveness. Uh, what were you going to go into beyond the forgiveness? Cause I know that's, that's big in itself, but you had some so more to share. The next one is unconditional love for yourself and for other people. Again, mm -hmm. it just goes back to, um, we were meant to love the foundation of life and us is love. Um, and we're here to love. And even people that hurt us, we should love all we should love thy neighbor and mm -hmm. thy parents and again i know that there's hurtful things that have happened in your life they've happened in mine as well um mm -hmm. but i still choose love yeah. um, i still do and and that's where more joy comes from that foundation of love and forgiveness and god and he's given us a spirit to have more joy in our lives he wants us to be joyful so yeah and and that is the truth when people are just so down and out and they are angry, actually, maybe even angry at watching us have fun and the, you know how that can happen. Like people that just be like, happen. well, who are they? And why are <laughs> they so happy? No, it didn't happen. No, like, it's true. It's true. Even if they've gotten as far in, in the video or the, the audio, right. They might be like, who the heck are these people thinking they're just it's so, so true though. Yeah. Okay. So when they're in that place, because <laughs> you have masters in counseling and you have all this education and joy and helping people, what can you tell those people? Like well, an actionable I've tip. Heard of Proverbs 17, 22. Joyful heart is good medicine. And a cheerful mind works healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Mm. And, you know, what this reminds me of is, and this is in my book as well. Um, so my grandmother, my Nana, she mm -hmm. lived to be a hundred years old and she was the most impactful person in my life. And she used to call me her medicine. Um, oh. Yeah. And oh. she said, that's why she was living so long is because I was her medicine. I believe I, that seriously. I do. I love that that you were. And I, that's such a special. Oh memory. my gosh. Yeah. And I couldn't even be mad at God at a hundred. Like I was like, God, thank you. Like, thank you. Like I got a hundred years with her. I can't not even be mad at you right now. Like <laughs> let's both let's, but we talked about planting seeds last week. In your yes. community, let's plant, let's plant that seed that we are going to live to be a hundred. I want to live to one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just, no, sorry, God. I want four more years. Yeah. So not just a hundred, but 104. Yes. Okay, Cindy. Well, ask and that could be when my see. next book comes out. <laughs> 
No, that's when my first one will come out. It's taking me so long. It's so true. I mean, you know, no, that, that, that is so true. The people are medicine for each other. They really are the, the energy that we the share and we can, yeah, the support yes. and the, the power of the words. I don't know if we mentioned this when we had our discussion with your group, but that seeds, uh, words are like seeds. They can lay down, you know, they can have the power to uplift or they can have the power to wilt somebody. So you, you know, you plant. Yeah. And so you plant your, your seeds with positive energy, your words with positive energy, um, because I should say this, they not wilt somebody, but when you plant a negative word on somebody that can live in them. And you I'm sure we got a really great point. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I got Yeah, no, you should you interrupt because when I, I, I want schooling these children. Um, we did an, an experiment that I found online um, where you put two different plants, I think it was in two different rooms oh, and you yeah. talk, talk positive to one and talk negative to the other and yeah. the positive one grows and the other one doesn't. I love, yeah. And that has been reproduced. I love that experiment. There's yeah. another experiment where you have, um, some, some rice in jars yeah. and you go and you talk to the rice and then you don't talk to the rice and then yes. you leave one, ignore one. And then yes. I, I, I actually have photographs of that from when I was homeschooling my kids. I do. I have the ones that was hey, you, anyway, that we're going down rabbit holes here, but this is really good. <laughs> well, it's good. That's who we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Happy little bunnies just <laughs> bouncing. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I just, uh, I want to have you give me some final thoughts on where people will, all of this will be in the show notes as well as, as far as where to go to find Cindy. But if you want to give some thoughts on the final thoughts on the more joy community and tell people where they can find you, where they can find your book, I would love for you to do that. Okay. So I think the easiest spot is to go to my website, which is www.cindycone.com, C-I-N-D-I-C-O-H-N.com. Because then you can click on join the community from there. You can click on buy the book from there, which just takes you to Amazon. So you could also just go to Amazon. Um, But that's probably the best place. And then if you really want daily interaction with me, you need to come to LinkedIn. and LinkedIn. Follow me there. That's my home away from home. Um, Every day I try to post something joyful or positive to keep people going. Um, However, if you really want even more, the community is the place to be, honestly, because that's where you get a lot more interaction with me and other people that are going to, it's going to propel you, propel you to a new level of joy in your life. Okay. And then do you want to also mention your coaching? Oh, yes. So I do do coaching as well. Um, Again, if you're a member of the community, it is less expensive. So I still think it's a great idea to join the community. community. Mm -hmm. And then they get to see you weekly as well. Yes. And then they get get the community support, you know, which I can't say enough about how important in general, whether it's my community, yours, anyone's being in a community that supports you and really lets you be your authentic self um, is priceless. Yeah, it it is. is. Especially in today's day and age. I want to wind down here by you giving us a tip on how you manage your social media right now, like how you manage the time on LinkedIn, because you are such a big voice there and you have a community that are following you there. How do you manage just the interaction with social media there? Because I know that's big people, people wonder, well, how are you, you know, how are you able to be present there and still maintain a good balance, a healthy balance? That's what I do. You just nailed it. I, I have learned, it did not start out this way, um, how to balance. And I want to be present in my real life because that gives me more more joy too, to be present with the moment and the people I'm in front of. Um, But I also want to give out to the community and people on LinkedIn. So I just literally have a like a time set in the morning and a time set in the evening. But during the day, I'm busy with podcasts and reading and coaching and, you know, things like that, being in the community. Okay. I love that. And if they want to find you, you're just on the LinkedIn, Cindy Cohn, they can just search your name and find you. 
Yeah. Queen of joy. Yes. <laughs> I didn't come up with that, by the way. People just started writing that. They kept, when I was on LinkedIn, they kept just hashtagging queen of joy. And I'm like, okay, I'm the queen of joy. <laughs> and, and you certainly are. We do, we, you do need to wear a crown or we should have a crowning ceremony. Can you, do you have your crown? That there's no crown here for me. Yeah. Oh, but well, that's I know, next. The I know what to send ceremony. I know what to send you and then you'll have to plan <laughs> and, and your signature sunshine emoji. I love it. Do I have one more second? Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. So a friend I hadn't spoken to or seen in probably over 10 years, she sent me this cup in the mail and it's um, when I got it though, it was broken. It came shattered. Um, so there's a, see there's a crack and I was like at first I was like oh my gosh I'm so sad because I love this cup and now it's broken and that lasted like one second and all of a sudden it occurred to me wow how symbolic this is the Mm -hmm. truth we can still have a cup of joy or more joy being having broken pieces within us, having things go not perfect in our life. And it's, I was like, this is the best symbolism I could ever ask for. And it is. And, and right? that you, I love that. That is in a nutshell, what people should take away today. Yeah. Don't you feel like that? No matter what, nothing is perfect. We're always, nope. we're evolving. We're, we're evolving. And the joy is in the journey and the progress right? And the process, remember, enjoy. Oh, I don't forget that. Process. I've been really into that lately, it's, really focusing on the process. It's yeah, it's going. the process. Mm-hmm. So I, I love that. That was awesome. And so I want to wind down I, and I want to ask you before we leave, how are you going to nourish yourself today? Oh, um, today. Well, I've already nourished myself this morning with uh, devotionals and my dogs, and I spent time um, praying. So I did that this morning already. So I feel pretty nourished right now. Um, (laughs) Well, that's awesome. You start a good, that's a good way to start the morning. Yes. So um, I feel good about it. Okay. So for the plan for the weekend, will you do anything special in Yes, I'm having company. So I'll actually be nourishing other people. (laughs) Okay, that's perfect. (laughs) You'll be using your joy energy to nourish others, which is is much needed. Yes. So let's do this, Cindy. I'll nourish myself again on Monday because after I get out, I have to replenish myself. I mean, you know, I mean, my cup gets empty too. And that's an important last uh, tip to give is that you have to refill. Absolutely. And I refuel with people like you. Oh, <laughs> you are so kind. But it's Thank true. You. You're probably my number one refuel. <laughs> you didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I love that. You just made, you just nourished me. You did oh. with those kind words. I love it. I love it. Let's do this. I love to wind down. And I've been making this a signature wind down. So let's do a joy meditation together and we'll bring everybody into a calm state on their way out of this podcast. If you're listening and driving, please keep your eyes open. But if you're not, close your eyes and take a deep breath. And just let go of anything that no longer serves you, any ants, the automatic negative thoughts that you might have coming into your mind. And with your next inhalation, you can breathe in joy and exhale out again anything that you want to let go of. And you can also visualize the sun and your next inhalation, just envisioning the bright yellow sun and the warmth that it provides on your skin, but in your heart as well. And then we can take another deep breath in and just put our hands on our heart 
and remember the joy within our heart and how we can bring that to others today. And then you can open your eyes and have a joyful day. Thank you so much for having me, Joanne. It was so much fun. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks for listening. And if you feel inclined to nourish this podcast, please leave a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts.